Welcome back to Northwest City Politics in the Know with Juanita. We're glad to welcome you to our show again this evening. We're always happy for people like you, people who are interested in what's happening in our cities and what's happening in the surrounding cities. It's important for good government that there be a good flow of information back and forth with the mayors and the city council people and the residents and the staff. We encourage you, if we're talking about your city tonight, because we cover the nine cities in CCX's viewing area, to take down the phone number and the email of our guests. So if there's any of the issues that we talk about tonight that really concern you, you can be in touch with them and let them know how you feel. We're very happy tonight to welcome Dwayne Poppy, the mayor of Osseo. Thank you. We've glad had to be you, here. had you on a number of times, and we're yep. glad to have you back. Well, thank you. And I'll have you introduce yourself to our wider audience, because I'm sure that people at Osseo know quite a bit about you by now, right? Yeah. But give a little idea about your background in Osseo. Uh, well, in my, uh, this year it'll be uh, 20 years now ah. that uh, my wife and I and family have lived in Osseo. Uh, just starting my fourth term as mayor, it was three years uh -huh. on the council before that, so it's nine years I've been right. involved with the city. So, and I've seen a number of changes throughout that uh, history, so we continue to try to move the city forward. And, and uh, kind of keep uh, putting in the best situ best light that we can. Oh, right, definitely. And like I was saying to you earlier when we were talking, Osseo has the ambiance that all of the cities want to try get, a small town that's friendly and... Yeah, we always joke, I mean, we have what every every community tries to build right, in, right. today, that, um, you know, it's that small, small town feel, right. and that hometown charm that you know, it's just tough to replicate. And that's one thing I think that's a big draw for all the people, you know, that end up coming to Osseo is just for that reason itself. Oh, I would think so. Well, we've talked about a number of topics ahead of time, and I thought we'd start with something that all of our cities are involved with to some extent, depending on what their plans are. But you've got some street and alley construction, reconstruction going on this summer? Yeah, once again, we've got another street project that's going on. Uh, you know, a number of years ago, the streets were in, in pretty bad decay. Uh -huh. And uh, we laid out, you know, a capital improvement plan and a financial management plan and, and really decided and had a pavement management study done. Uh -huh. And what we did was then we're able to kind of assess the streets, the quality of each of them. Oh, right. And then based on that, kind of laid out, it was an eight-year plan uh -huh. that basically we'll redo all the streets in town. Right. We took a big chunk of them and milled and overlaid about half the city mm -hmm. because the sub the sub base and the utilities underneath them didn't need any immediate work. And then the rest of the other eight years of streets uh -huh. needed some sort of underground utility work, whether it be storm, sanitary, or water. Oh, right. And then, uh, so we've been milling overlaying where you just take off the top two inches or some of them we've had to reconstruct because of the... Uh, the uh, you know the sewer and water and storm sewer oh, underneath right. them. So. Yeah, they get old and need to yeah, be replaced. Yeah, so we, 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 that was one thing that you know we really tried to do is you know kind of repair the infrastructure that was you know sorely overneeded in, in the city. And um, what where are you in your eight year plan? We are about halfway. Oh, then you're doing yeah, pretty good. We'll be I guess this year will be the fifth fifth project. So yeah. Yeah, it's a challenge when they're doing it in front of your house, but people are always pleased when it's yeah. done, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last year I had a street on the side of my house and the alley behind my house, ah. so I was right in the middle of the zone. Now, if people are interested in what's happening in terms of the roads, how can they find out updates on what's happening? You know, we've, that's one thing we've really stressed with our, um, our um, city engineers, um, that... Uh, you know, the communication is really the key, uh -huh. you know, because people get frustrated when they, when unexpected things happen. Oh, right, definitely. You know, and, and they don't know the street's going to be tore up tonight uh -huh. or, you know, so that's one thing that, you know, we've, we've, we've really stressed is during the project over communicate. And that's uh, not just yes. leave a fryer, flyer in the front door because uh -huh. a lot of people don't even use the front door. True, true. You know, they use the side door or the back door as they come in from their, come in from their houses, you know, so it. That's one, but then, you know, of course, you know, the plan, the schedule, all of it is on the city website right. as well. And obviously you can always 
call to get updates, mm -hmm. you know, from the uh, from the city. So in a number of ways, and again, it's just about communication and getting the word out there so right. people understand what's happening. And the, and two is is we've talked to them too. Is if you have a big event or something uh -huh. coming up, whether it be graduation or something, oh, right. you know, we'll, we'll try to work around that, uh -huh. coordinate with that, so at least you know that can come off as smooth right. as it can. Yeah, it takes it takes a, a lot of communication, and then people understand. Yeah, they may not like it, but no, at least they right. understand. <laughs> and what does the? How long does it take to do the mill and overlay and reconstruction that you have up for this well, year? Well, this one we've got some uh, water, uh, some water lines that we're doing because uh -huh. they're they're really shallow. I mean, a couple of feet below the uh -huh. ground where you know we've had some issue with some freezing oh, of water yeah. pipes. So that that's going to take uh, you know a little bit of time, sure. uh, and that's the street down by uh, Sipes Park, kind of on the southeast side of town. Um, but you know, usually you know we'll try to get in there. You know, it'll be probably June. Okay. And uh, you know, then it'll be kind of buttoned up. You know, before the lines were. Ah, you know, in right. uh, September. Right. So I mean, that's always kind of the goal is everything needs to be done, finished, cleaned up, and everybody out of town before lines were. Right. Work. Right. And now what street or what area of the city is going to have work this summer? It's kind of spotted throughout. Oh, okay. Um, you know, you've got uh, mill and overlay and some street reconstruction going on would be on the northwest side of town uh -huh. on first and then some of the side streets um, kind of on the just south of County Road 30. Right. So it'll be first on that side and then over it'd be, you know, seventh kind of over over by the Sipes Park and uh -huh. the Lutheran Church over there. So there will be a sidewalk reconstruction. All that will be going on over there. And that's where the water mains as well will be replaced. So anybody with any questions can call City Hall. Yeah. It's the best place, right? Yeah. Now, redevelopment, Casasio is certainly well developed, right? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. we have to talk about redevelopment. Yeah. But it's kind of a process and right now you don't have any big redevelopment projects, right? Uh, nothing in the works. Mm -hmm. You know, we're always looking at some different sites to be able to uh, redevelop. Right. Because I mean, that's for us, that's, you know, the only option is to tear something down and build mm -hmm. something new. Um, you know, that we did with Five Central and we're looking at some other sites. And really the key is if you look at, you know, tying in with our comp plan and everything else oh, that we've right. done is, you know, really build density on the core up and down Central mm -hmm. Avenue that's the main street of town. Right. And then, uh, you know, then soften it with single family homes, but really get more people to be able to support the businesses. Oh, right. You know, downtown, you know, and, and, and you know, whether that be, you know, apartments, whether it be, you know, office buildings. Mm -hmm. I mean, but just get people, you know, up and down Central Avenue. Right. Cause, yeah, because it can't exist unless it gets enough business, right? Yep. So it's kind of a balancing yeah. thing. Yeah. Now, <coughs> Can you tell us about what are some of the newest businesses that have come to Osseo? Yeah, well, I mean, we've we've had you know a, a number of businesses coming in town and you know set up shop. Um, you know, one, I mean, obviously uh, one that people like is you know Red Savoy's Pizza. Right, you know, we right. Were, that was always kind of the thing we seemed to be lacking uh -huh. was a was a pizza joint. So, <laughs> and everybody know, loves pizza. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. You know, we, we've had that in in, in one. You know that I think people drive by is the building right next to Dean's Supermarket. Uh -huh. You know, is the old Osseo Sports, right? And it's going going through a major renovation. Uh -huh. And uh, what's going on there is a it's a group called Union Speed and Style, uh -huh. and they do uh, auto restoration. Oh, you know, they're technically uh, um, artisan metal workers okay. is what they're officially classified right. as. But you know, so they'll restore like very old cars uh -huh. and things like that, and you know they're they you know highly regarded and they'll right. be a great addition i mean they've they've restored that building and, and really taken the time to put and find you know old materials oh, that matched original oh, stuff so it ties and, right in yeah, right and so they you know and they've they've just done a great job and ah. once it's all done it's really going to be an asset to the city and then the building just south of there the two story one you know they're looking for a tenant we've had some ah. different groups Look at it, inquire about mm -hmm. it, but I think you know once they figure out you know a group that'll move in there, right. that's a great opportunity to move into right you know Central Avenue of of Osseo. Yeah, and that's part that gets a lot of traffic back and 
forth mm -hmm. so yep. that it can build the business up. Yeah, and then, I mean, you have Dean's Supermarket there that, right. you know, gets a lot of business. So, I mean, and then, so yeah, it'll, it'll, be, a, it'll be a great place. Now, you have an Economic Development Authority, or <coughs> referred to as EDA, right? Yep. And a lot of people out there might not have any idea of what is in the world is that. So I figure every time <coughs> we go through development, we'll talk about it a little. Yeah. So maybe you can explain how it works. Yeah, the EDA is, is made up of the council and, uh, and business owners uh -huh. and residents. Okay. And really the, the goal is to, you know, promote development and, right. and, and business in Osseo. You know, so in our meetings, we're always looking at different opportunities for whether it be development, redevelopment, you know, events, activities, things to, you know, drive business to Osseo. Oh, right. Up and down Central Avenue, but, you know, up and down 81 as well. Oh, right, because that's a, a busy road, too. Yep. And you want things, some things that people will stop for. <laughs> yep. yep. Not drive on through. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Can you go through the redevelopment process? Because people don't realize, I think, how long a span it is from when you first start <coughs> to when you finish. Because you mentioned there's a couple of sites you're, the city is thinking about. So yeah. that, it's like that's the very beginning of the process. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you look at, if you take the total length of time that, you know, Five Central took uh -huh. between, I mean, that was years, you know, there were some things acquired in the 70s. Right. You know, and that, and, and and then we're able to kind of push it forward. Where you look at, you know, some of the development now is, you know, you acquire parcels when you can, right? You know, and assemble those, and that's always that catch twenty two of, you know, taking them off the tax roll, yeah. <laughs> right. you know, and then or you know, and, and trying to gauge how long development will mm -hmm. actually take to get to it. You know, so that's that's one way. But I mean that, and that's acquiring the sites. You know, finding, you know. A project that makes sense right. is also the biggest thing too is because you know at the end of the day developers will build what makes sense in the market right you know they you can have a lot of times where you have visions of what you think will uh -huh. go there but if the market doesn't demand that right. then I mean then it's a lose-lose situation for everyone and probably the project won't happen or they'll be looking for a lot more uh, assistance from oh, the city right right you know so I mean you have to be smart with what you what you develop and then once you've either acquired or somebody else has acquired the land then what is the city's next role yeah and then i mean it's just really you know going through a development agreement uh -huh. which kind of lays out kind of the ground rules of you know how things are going right. to proceed you know whether tiff's involved or no tiff or you know kind of the process you know because you know with most city city projects a lot of it is just, it's the process right. and notifications and public hearings and just steps along the way that, you know, you've got plan review. I mean, just, you have to go through all the right. steps and sometimes right. you'd like to get things done more quickly than, <laughs> right. but, you know, just procedurally by statute, it uh -huh. just, these are the steps. Yeah, and you need to go through them. Yeah, so, I mean, then, you know, you get a concept plan and then plan review and then you get a kind of construction drawings uh -huh. and review the construction drawings and then at that point then it you know they start pushing dirt and then you start building a building and then and you see the results finally. yeah yeah i mean and then it, it never seems like it happens fast enough right once you start pushing that first uh first pile of dirt but you know and then it comes together and then you know you know have your inspections along right. the way yeah to make sure that they're carrying out the agreement that you yep. set up yep and i mean just you know the basics between plumbing electrical sheetrock mm -hmm. you know i mean everything mechanicals everything inside the buildings and then you know and then you have your ribbon cutting yeah right, right. The, uh, <laughs> the fun time yeah. you, you, know, you have the point where you can stick a shovel in the ground and then finally clip the ribbon. yeah exactly <laughs> and then yeah. with a bit of time in between oh yeah now i thought we'd just touch base a little bit on your water tower because it's a historic site, right? Yes. Maybe you can tell us about the history of the water tower a little bit. Yeah, the history of the water tower, it's been, you know, it's over 100 years old. Right. Um, you know, and it's not functioning. I mean, mm -hmm. we don't have water. Right. We get our We get our water from Maple Grove, mm -hmm. uh, you know, so it's a non-functioning water tower. And But, I mean, it's really kind of the almost cultural icon of right. the city. Right, right. I mean, it, it really, for us, it... it, it it's a sense of place that it, you know, is also, you know, it just standing there, you know, so. We, it's we, visual, it 
Yeah, you, you know, know like you, 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 you know, talk to a lot of people and they say, you know, I know I'm home when I see the water ah, tower. Right, you right. Know, so, I mean, that's, you know, and then we integrated that into our, into our uh, city logo uh -huh. a few years ago. Um, you know, and so we went through and got a place on the National Historic Register. Uh -huh. And what that allows us to do is, you know, try to obtain different grant funds, you know, because, I mean, it needs to be replayed, right. repainted. It needs some, you know, additional work. I mean, there's nothing, you know, major wrong right. with it now, right. but I mean, it just needs a little touch up like everything does after a oh, hundred right. years, right. you know, so. Um, but, uh, you know, we, we, we I still are looking at different concepts because, I mean, we really want to, you know, enhance what it is. Uh -huh. But, you know, we're just kind of going through the steps. Again, it's, you know, obtain a grant to get this report right. and then get a right. grant to get this report. And, again, it's just, just now you add, a, you know, the federal layer uh -huh. on top of, you know, city and state. Right. And, and, you know, just adds complexity and time and, you know, different... Uh, committees and groups that all need to look mm -hmm. at, you know, what's going on with the water tower. Yeah, because you had uh, a group of citizens pursuing carry out the details necessary to have it declared a historic site, right? Yeah, yeah we had, you know, a handful of uh, local citizens that uh -huh. did a great job. Right. You know, and then helped with some of the grant writing to obtain the people that needed to do the review of, of the application and the review of the site itself. And, you know, so yeah, they did a great job. and you know, we're able to kind of keep pushing it forward. Right. And now you, you're you setting up a conditions <coughs> assessment, I think, if I got the right words here. Yep. And what will be the outcome of that? What that'll be is just the, uh, you know, just the condition of the water uh -huh. tower and what needs, kind of the, what needs to be done to keep it standing. Okay. You know, and, and then how was that getting paid for? That was a, that was a grant. Right. Because you're working all of this so that you can do it not with, city tax money Correct. but money that you bring in that helps that carry it yep. forward yep and then for us i mean getting the assessment then i mean we'll go out and try to obtain additional grants but also i mean if, if we have to budget for it in the future i mean at least oh, right. you can plan for it but right until you, you know what you're dealing with i mean you're just kind of throwing darts at a wall so when will that assessment be completed you know, it should be later this year. Okay. You know, I mean, it takes a while for them to... Yeah, somebody's interested, keep following on yeah. the, the um, agendas. Yep. And then they'll know when it's coming up. Yep. Now, <clears throat> Osseo had a set a budget for 2019, and we're into that. But what were the priorities that your city council was looking at as you were setting up <coughs> this year's budget? Because oh. you're also <coughs> starting to set up next year's at the same time. Yeah. We'll, be, we'll just talk about this year's right yeah. now. <laughs> this year's last year. Yeah, this year's <laughs> last year, right. Yeah, no, I mean, again, is, you know, we, we, have that, we have that task of, you know, with our limited resources. Right. And um, how we spend those dollars and, and you know, what, what's most important mm -hmm. and how can we continue to provide the service and the level of service oh, that right. people have come to expect. Um, you know, we're in, in this past year, I mean, in, in going into this, I mean, that was six years in a row now we've lowered the tax rate. Right, and that's pretty admirable. Yeah, and, and what, <clears throat> you know, but of course, you know, home values go up. So right, of course, so I mean, your taxes go taxes up. Taxes go up, but I mean, if it stayed the same, you'd right. be going down. And, you know, that's, and again, I mean, that's all you can really ask from a, a city. I would is, think is, so. is, is look at, you know, what are you doing with your tax rate? Is uh -huh. it going up? And, you know, are you being creative and what are you doing? And I mean, there's, so, I mean, we've looked at it. I mean, the, the priority, you know, is still, I mean, it's is been a solid financial footing. Uh -huh. um, you know, when we, when I got there, <clears throat> I mean, we were A minus for a bond rating, uh -huh. you know, and, and just kind of financial kind of chaos. Right. And, and, you know, it's been, you know, nine years of making tweaks and pulling levers uh -huh. and twisting and, and getting it uh, to where we need to be in our last bond rating. I mean, we're double A. Wow, you know, well, so. you've made a lot of progress yeah, in those yeah. years. Yeah, so right. I mean, and all that means is lower cost of issuance for our residents, you know, which ultimately, you know, lowers their payments that right. they have to make. So, I mean, it's, it's, and it, it's just, again, is, is finding ways to increase revenue, you know, decrease expenses. I mean, it's all the, you know, little things that, you know, people, 
people talk about but uh -huh. never seem to accomplish at uh, larger scales. Right, right. You know, so I mean, I, you know, I'm pretty proud of our staff and all the councils that we've had and, you know, that have really had to make some of the hard decisions that needed to be made to right. put ourselves in that position. Yeah, and if you don't, you're getting less and less money to do more and more. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's an important part of the work of any city council. Mm -hmm. As, have you started working on the budget for 2020 yet? Not yet. I mean, we are uh, just got done with our audit. Okay. So we'll have our audit uh, review here with the uh, Budget and Finance Committee, and then we'll bring that forward to council. And then, you know, kind of May we start. Right. I mean, that's, you know, next month already. Right. <laughs> start kind of looking in right. June. We'll, that'll be kind of the first look at uh -huh. our preliminary budget for next year. You know, so, I mean, I'll be able... You know, you always release that preliminary budget, and then you, you know, have until December to ratify right, it. And right. Can't can't go up, but it can, you know it goes down. So usually that first one in your initial bill right. seems a little big, but you got to make sure that you have enough it, right. and, you know, in there for what needs to be accomplished, and then from there, kind of whittle it down and really understanding all each of the departments is, you know, you know where are we at? What do you need? Uh -huh. You know, I mean, is this is this a necessity and you know, and look at, okay, do we need to spend some money to in, in improve, you know, quality, improve efficiency, right. which saves time, which saves money. So, I mean, it's all understanding kind of the asks oh, yes. from all the departments. And then if people want to follow that, they just need to come to your city council meetings, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're all available. Right. right. Online, too. Uh, yeah. yeah. I think that there's been more, more interest in people watching it. <coughs> now that they can do it online. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean they you know, they went through the numbers uh and for, you know, our percentage of residents to views on the web is, you know, one of the highest around. Ah. Uh, so I mean we you know, people are informed yeah. and, and uh you know, it's it's great to see. You know, cuz not everyone can make it on a right, Monday right. night to a council meeting. They got stuff going on, but you know, if they put the kids to bed and you got you know, a little bit, you can view it online and go to the issues that are important to you and watch right, that right. however long we discuss it and you know and if you have questions and you know people call yeah, after then that they can and, contact because yeah. that's always going to end up with so if people do that they can always call you and go over a particular issue that they're in, concerned about yep. yep or any of the rest of your council people yes. right yeah now <coughs> you have a community center where is it located uh Right next, connected to the city hall. Okay. You know, so right uh, downtown Osseo, um, you know, right kind of under the water tower. Right, right. And uh, across from Boer Boom Park. Uh -huh. You know, it's it's really nice. There's two different rooms, you know, there. And, and we changed a few years ago. It really wasn't getting a whole lot of use. You know, so now we've opened that up for... So you did a, quite a bit of work on it, right? Yeah. You know, and, you know, I mean, obviously, carpet, window, shades, blinds. And, mm -hmm. you know, we've actually rented it out a number of times for weddings. Uh -huh where people get married in the park. Oh, yeah, that And they come be, across the street right. and then have their reception right at City Hall, Very well, convenient. I mean, the community center. But right. Yeah, so I, mean, so I mean, it's been used for that and, you know, various business groups, and that's where the, the uh, community wellness classes are with the oh, sure. yoga and the, ch you know, the chair workouts mm -hmm. and all that, you know, and that's where the seniors meet for their activities, you know, and we have different clubs and organizations oh, that right. you know rent it and use it so i mean it's it's getting a lot more use than it used to and again huh. it was just for us another way to get you know an asset to you know basically produce some revenue right. for the city that right. was it's a great beautiful asset mm -hmm. that just was sitting there and it's a need for different groups and people and parties mm -hmm. and weddings yeah it's good to have a lot of people looking at a particular issue mm -hmm. because then it, you see it from different angles. Yeah, and and that and that's, you know, as we talk about all the time, it's, it's it's. We we may not agree, uh -huh. but uh, but you still need to listen and understand, from their perspective. Oh, definitely. You know, because if we're standing on the opposite sides of the table, you see it differently than I see it. Sure. And and it's being open, and and really, because at the end of the day, the the best decisions are always the ones that are made from varying perspectives and it's somewhere in the middle right you know you may want it one way or you may want it the other way and i mean for me is is you know at the council level is is 
as hearing other people's perspectives and, uh -huh. and, and their thoughts on a on a topic, and you're like, hmm, I guess I haven't thought about that. Right. You know, so you kind of listen and you know you craft you know kind of something from that, and I think that's you know has has been one of the you know kind of things that have went well you know on this number of years is uh -huh. you know we've had a council that you know we don't always agree but yet you know you you, you listen and right. understand you know other people's perspective and you know helps kind of shape mm -hmm. you know your better decision i think on the whole there's a lot of partisanship in our society today yeah. but i don't think there's as much <coughs> of it as at city council levels there can yeah. be yeah. I'm, not, I'm no, not saying yeah. that, exactly. isn't, that is not there yeah. but i but there's less of it at that level yeah I because think. i think i think what the difference there is i think at a city level you're there to get things done uh -huh. and it's not a career that's true right you know where where you're protecting your livelihood when you mm. get beyond the city level uh, and you're trying to move yeah up to and, different yeah, levels you know so and, and that's you know ultimately i you know it's it's whatever side you're on always the best decision is somewhere in the middle right but i think if you go you know on a, a broader scale is that People aren't allowed to to give on issues because then they'll see they'll be perceived as weak. Ah, uh, and you know, and and which, I mean, I you know, it, it frustrates it's me. Instead of smart, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's you know, it frustrates me that I you're like, come on, I mean, let's, you know, I I always equate it to, you know, it's like World War One where uh -huh. everyone's in the trenches shooting at each other, but on Christmas Day they all came together. Right, and right. Sat and had Christmas dinner. Right, it's like right. people want to be somewhere in the middle where the yeah. best decisions are. They don't want to be, you know, in their trenches. Uh -huh. So, but. but I think what you mentioned too, knowing that other people have listened to you, hmm. is is the opposite side of you're doing the listening, yeah. that they real, you know, the back and forth lets people know that, okay, you heard my points. Yeah, and at the end of the day, it's, you and know. You might not agree or you might yeah. agree. Yeah, I mean, just fundamentally, people will not agree on all oh, things. Oh, right, right, I mean, that's part yeah. of life. <laughs> yeah, and, but it, I mean, also, and then it, it, it doesn't have to be personal. Right, I mean, uh, that's can, probably one of the bigger things. Yeah, that, we can agree to disagree and let's move on. Yeah. You know, and it doesn't need to be personal shots mm -hmm. at each other and and you can appreciate that when your city council can work along on that measure right mm -hmm. well and you have to provide leadership to help that happen too yeah, yeah. but it 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 is important and throughout our cities what i'm seeing is mostly things are going in a good yeah. direction yeah good yeah well, they're there to get things done right well i want to thank you for coming, sharing yeah. your expertise and your time <laughs> with us, and we're going to ask you to be sure to tune in next week for part two on Osseo's issues. We're glad that you've been with us, and we're looking forward to you joining us next week. Bye.